Why do jet engines on more recent airplanes have a pattern like wavy teeth on the back, and why did it take high-bypass turbofan engine producers so long to recognize that feature? Chevrons are the term for the wavy teeth in the question. Chevrons is described by Jim Bank on the trailing edges of some jet engine nozzles, you may notice a sawtooth pattern. This is a NASA Aeronautics Research Mission Directorate design. The curved edges help to smooth the mixing of the hot air from the engine core and the colder air flowing through the engine fan, which lessens turbulence and noise. Those who live close to airports have always been inconvenienced by airplane noise during takeoff and landing. Governments and manufacturers were forced to develop a variety of technological solutions to protect people from the harmful effects of engine noise at and around airports as a result of ongoing protests from the airport community, persistent environmentalist pressure, and strict International Civil Aviation Organization ICAO, standards to control noise pollution. Fighter aircraft with 50 to 60 years old technology and pure jet engines, sometimes known as turbojet, were the noisiest. Today's fighter aircraft are powered by low-bypass turbofan engines, also referred to as leaky jets. These devices reduce fuel consumption while making less noise than turbojets. Jet engines used in big commercial airplanes have ever-increasing bypass ratios, which have greatly reduced noise while also improving fuel consumption. In a big bypass engine, the majority of the air travels around the engine's core rather than through it, creating a layer of air between outside air and the hot gases that are expelled from the engine's exhaust. When exhaust gases are mixed with bypass air before being mixed with the surrounding air, they are reduced in speed and temperature, which lowers their noise level compared to pure jet engines. Chevron technology, which basically makes it easier to mix ambient air and bypass air smoothly, can minimize noise even further. Thanks for watching.